dear friends in this video let's look at the mathematical modeling framework of logistic regression certain basic mathematical equations and formulation are important for us to understand and that's what i'm going to cover in this video first of all we told earlier logistic regression guarantees the probability to remain between 0 and 1 and thus overcomes the deficiency of the ordinary least square regression model. So what I'm going to do here is look at the picture you will be able to understand that the curve is an S-shaped curve. The horizontal axis represents the ordinate Z and the vertical axis represents the probability of Z for various values of Z. And let me just uh, illustrate for example when z is equal to zero if you look at it the probability is 0 0.5 and the s-shaped curve is achieved by using what's called the sigmoid function the sigmoid function is um, let me just uh, make this a little up so that you can see the R in it and uh, go back to this. The sigmoid function is given by a mathematical equation, which is the next slide. But look at the curve. It goes here, reaches the highest, and then tapers off and plateau and come here. So it guarantees probability, which is the vertical axis, to remain between 0 and 1. So what is this sigmoid function? Probability P is given by e raised to the power is z divided by 1 plus e raised to the power is z. And the numerator is the odds, the denominator is one plus odds. That's the beauty of the sigmoid function. And what is z? z is equal to b0 plus b1 x1 plus b2 x2, etc. plus bk xk if there are k predictor variables in the equation of z. In other words, z is a regression, it's a linear regression, multiple linear regression is z. But the probability is achieved by e raised to the power is z divided by 1 plus e raised to the power is z. And what is this p? It represents the probability when y equal to 1 and 1 minus p represents the probability when y is equal to 0. In other words, if y is the target variable, it can take two values 0 or 1 and p represents the probability when y is equal to 1 and 1 minus p represents the probability that y is equal to 0. Having said that, how do we estimate the values of b0, b1, b2, bk? We cannot use the least square method. We use what is called the maximum likelihood estimation procedure that is famous in the world of statistics. In the multivariate analysis of modern multivariate analysis books like Morrison or C.R. Rao's linear statistical inference, these are beautifully explained, but I'm succinctly going to cover what is relevant for the world of analytics. L is the likelihood function. The word likelihood in logistic regression is very important. It represents the probability. It's the joint probability between p to the power y and 1 minus p to the power 1 minus y. So that when y is equal to 1, your l will become p. 
as you can see, 1 minus p to the power 1 minus 1 is uh, 1 minus p raised to the power 0, which is 1. And when y is equal to 0, this will be 1 minus p to the power 1, because p raised to the power 0 will be equal to 1. This is for a single data point, and we represent the joint probability if you have a data set, let's say, of n observations where n is the sample size, then we multiply the joint probability. I'm avoiding the subscripts for the sake of clarity and, and uh, importance. We can put subscript yi and all that. I'm not doing that. So the prob joint probability will be the product of n observations. To simplify, I take the logarithm and natural logarithm of L equal to sigma y log p plus sigma 1 minus y log 1 minus p. You maximize L, which means it is same as maximizing the log L. And once you do the maximization procedure, the log likelihood maximization, the parameters B0, B1, B2, B3, etc., BK, are automatically obtained. And that, how do we do? We will see soon in another video. Let me show you actually in the Microsoft Excel spreadsheet by taking a very small data set and explaining the estimation procedure in the model of walk to walk talk or the walk the talk, so to say. I will do that. Thank you very much. See you in another video. Thanks a lot. Very soon we will see you.